If you are one of my college professors and you're wondering why I didn't do homework today, it is because we are making the ultimate gym guide for Soul Worker. I will be doing my homework later, don't trip. All right, welcome to video, you guys. I was about to say welcome to the stream. If you haven't streamed way too much, way too many 16 hour days. All right. But as you all know, the grind don't stop. I had a couple people request this video uh, so this is for you, uh, for everyone who is a gym player and who is just looking for a little bit of help on what to do with your gym character as far as DPS damage. Um, I'm going to be 100% frank, gym is a character that requires skill, timing, precision. He is not a character for people who are not willing to put in the work and the time and the effort to understand his rotation, his Skill build. Um, it takes a while to truly learn which of your skills um, should be used in which situation. Um, and even then, learning the actual game mechanics is going to be essential on Jin because of his counters. And if you're not countering correctly, you're missing damage. It did, however, add somewhat of a change to where Jin can counter activate on his own. However, it's still always best for Jin to try and counter the boss's moves if you can. That way he never has to dodge do consistent damage. Because that's where Jin shines. Doing consistent damage where other players have to dodge. Um, so for certain raids, uh, it's, it's a little bit easier. Uh, Winterfall or Primal, whereas HH, there's certain mechanics in HH which uh, much doing awakening. Um, but that being said, let's go ahead and hop in the game. And what I'm going to show you is going to be my skill build, my control slash keybinds, and then a little bit of combos. Or... Let's get to it. All right, so my Jin is in training right here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and start with my skill build. Keep in mind, I'm only 67. Um, I was going to wait until I hit 72. That way I can show you guys a full SP skill build. But because of high demand, I'm just going to go ahead and put this guide out. And I also need to update my Erwin guide. But that being said, you might have more SP if you're 72. And I will let you know which skills you need to spend that SP on. But we're going to start with the... Starter row, glory upper, max, uh, skill knockdown attack. Um, this is a really, really good combo skill. Um, you also, it, it gets buffed. It gets buffed when you get the reinforcement buff from countering. So utilizing the skill after counters or utilizing the skill after your soul strike um, is really, 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 really good as far as keeping up consistent damage. Perfect combination gets really strong after you get the skill rising upper from your advancement. Um, rising upper is literally like Haruken, dude. It's it's such an insane skill, dude. Like you can actually stop this mid air, and I'll show you this later, and cancel into a uh, heavy drop, or you could just cancel into a drastic landing. Um, or you could finish the full animation and go back down to other combos. But that's why I say Jin's combos are very versatile and very fun. And there are certain rotations that are going to be for max DPS, but there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with Jin. I'm going to show you that later. So you got Hammer Kick here, which is a really good skill for, uh, again, regaining um, your SG. Same thing with Perfect Combination. Both of these two skills are going to be utilized for combos but also for regaining SG. Perfect combination is your main combo initiator. That way you always have SG to finish out your combos. Um, counter attack, 100% you know, necessary. You need to have this on your quickest reaction key. That way you can be utilizing this off cooldown because your counters are key to your damage on Jin. Your surge, I keep that level one. It's not necessary. The debuff is not great. Um, the buff, defense buff, is decent, but it's not worth the points for the scaling. 
Uh, Jin just is already really defensive. Uh, plus, you already have a full defensive shield. So, I just keep this at one just for the utility of pulling mobs closer. That's it. Gravity Twister. Uh, again, another good uh, skill for pulling mobs closer and for dropping, you know, a little bit of uh, damage over time. Shockwave. You basically leave an orb there that continues damaging the enemy over time. Really good skill. Counter attack and the spirit explosion is going to be your main DPS combo. To be honest with you, you want to be using that. Off you want to use spirit explosion every single time it's off cooldown in order to maximize your DPS on. Counter attack and a spirit explosion is one of your highest damage in skills. Keep in mind, you can activate counter attack with a right click if you miss the uh, you miss the window for the enemy melee attacking you. You can just activate it manually with right click and then go right to a spirit. Um, and like I said, counter attack is going to be it's going to give you the reinforcement buff, which is boosting spirit explosion damage as well as some other skills. Super armor break on counter attack and spirit explosion is crazy. I I literally will go through like 16 bars of enemy health utilizing this. Spirit shooter, I love it. I personally love it. It is a great skill once you get the advancement. Um, it's not good before advancement. Once you get the advancement, you can spirit shooter into a right click, um, and you can stay in the air into a heavy drop into a drastic landing or you can spirit shooter right click um as you're in the air you can right click again which is your soul strike aerial which will bring you back down into the fight and then after you're back down somewhere near the fight uh i usually pair spirit shooter with barrett so spirit shooter um and you need recoil you're in the air you come down with soul strike into a barrett straight it's a really fun and really mobile combo. And Barrett straight just does insane damage. So, really, really, really cool way to dodge. Oh yeah, keep in mind, um, Spear Shooter is a full dodge as well as a paralysis. So in PvP, it's gonna fully paralyze. In uh, certain mobs, it'll certain it'll completely paralyze for three seconds. And then you completely dodge almost every skill in the game by using Spear Shooter. Um, I guess it depends on the animation, but most skills I've been able to dodge for using Spear Shooter. So it's kind of a sleeper skill that people don't really realize that Jin has a built in dodge. The same thing like Erwin has a dodge shot, right? A really good skill. Quadra Bow is like one of your main DPS finisher skills. You want to be using this after your main perfect combination combo because this is again one of those skills where it's like it's up so often it contributes to your consistent dps it's not huge burst but it is very good for consistent dps so keep that in mind definitely want to have that max and it's just a fucking cool skill it's like key blast dragon ball z or something heavy drop main dps skill uh if you can you want to be using this off cooldown if you can't get the full charge off because there's too many animations you just just drop it literally just charge it and drop it the more attack speed you get the faster it'll charge but it's just a great skill dude it does insane damage decent super armor break um more you charge your obviously the more damage but it's a really 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 strong skill fusion armor next great skill dude great um great skill dude i just i can't stress enough the fact that you have completely you're completely invincible your party is invincible for three seconds while you're completely invincible for seven you can completely ignore mechanics certain mechanics with this fusion wow. rapid punch i don't like this skill um i don't like being stuck in place on Jin. i like being mobile um i don't see it doing enough damage uh, the super armor break is not bad over time, but I don't see it doing enough damage for the full animation for this 35 second cooldown. So, I mean, if you have an extra SP after you max out Power Strike and after you max out Baird Straight, maybe come back to Rapid Punch. But as of right now, I'm just not even touching that skill because I only have 4 SP and I want to save it for my 72 just so I can check out my build. But yeah, I don't really like this skill. Counter stream, one of your main DPS skills, and also consistent DPS because you can 
you can cancel every single one of Jin's skills um like outside of the ultimate um you can counter all of those like all these skills with your counter screen or with your counter attack so if you're in the middle of an animation and you see a boss coming for an attack cancel it get that counter off and go into another combo that's where Jin shines he can unlike other classes who get animation locked and have to dodge cancel he doesn't have to dodge cancel as much because he can just counter cancel and go into another combo uh but drastic landing max again that that pairs really well after you heavy drop you can go right into a drastic landing back into your combos or like i said spirit shooter into a heavy drop and a drastic landing um or even just aerial aerial uh into drastic landing um really good skill this is your ultimate obviously you want this completely max once i get 68 i'll be maxing that too the super armor break and the damage buff as you level up for Jin's ultimate is insane this is like one of your largest AOE skills. You freaking pull a middle spear surge right into a final fist. Things just die. You think everything just dies like that. Very straight main DPS skill to use. Does 2000 damage on explosion, which means it's an AOE and it hits multiple mobs in this line. And it has insane super armor break and damage per hit. So if it's a larger mob, you can get more hits off as you're moving in a straight line because you start um when the first hit starts when you first touch the mob and if it's a larger mob you'll completely go through it you will literally go completely through the mob if there's area behind it and it'll take multiple hits as well as the explosion really 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 fun main dps go on seriously guys don't sleep on here don't miss all right passives i'm gonna go over them really quickly level one basic attacks you don't need it Max your soul strike mastery because this uh, gives you a buff, increased damage by 5% for certain skills. Um, and you can also gain XP from using that. And then when you're in the air and you right click, uh, you use your soul strike mastery, you also gain XP from that. And it's a way of like quick mobility. Just jumping in the air and right clicking for a quick forward dive, it's really good. Dodge one, tumble one, dash, max, retaliation one. You can be really getting knocked down on Jin if you're utilizing your counters on cooldown. Dash attack. Um This is basic. This is this is like really basic, but the, you definitely don't need that. You definitely don't need it, but basic skill. Um so if I do have extra SP, I would probably put it into stamina because stamina is always decent for dodge canceling skills. Um, but like I said, I'm saving my SP right now to decipher my full in-game build. Um, I wouldn't go into Body of Steel because even though it has damage reduction, Jin doesn't need it. Because if you're utilizing your counter streams correctly, uh, you shouldn't really be taking a whole lot of damage, to be honest with you, as well as Fusion Armor. Fusion Armor with one counter, two counters, you didn't really need the DR. No, it's kind of a crutch, so... You don't really need SP in that. You definitely want SP in this because it gives you Soul Force. And without a Roska, you're going to be leaded on Soul Force anyway. So with a Roska, I'd still use this. The Soul Force is uh, just great. SP is freaking great. And you, every time you use a reinforcement skill, you're getting more SP. So the more you counter, the quicker you're getting your Awakening. Like one of the best passes in the game, I think. And then SG, just has a little basic checks in your SG. You definitely want that because the more you counter, the more you attack. You're gonna get more SG, which means more combo. Even though you're depending on mostly perfect formation. Hammer kick for uh, SG, it's still really good to have this passive. It's only one point, right? So that is my build. Let me actually show you guys my skill presets before I go into skill combos. So I go perfect combination into glory upper, into quadra blow. Spirit Surge straight into ultimate because I don't want to waste time. If I need to use my ultimate, I want to go right to my ultimate. Gravity Twister and a Hammer Kick. And this is for when I, like, like let's say I perfect combination um, into a Quadra Blow, the Spirit Surge into a Ult. I can probably Spirit Shooter into a Bear. I'm probably low SP at that point. I can Gravity Twister into a Hammer Kick. Or I can perfect combination chain combo. Um, into a counter 
the spear explosion and then right to gravity twister hammer kick and then once they're stuck in gravity twister they're stuck in a cc i can jump in the air with a heavy drop do a drastic landing or uh, something similar to that right next i will go over my key bindings really quickly which these are mostly universal for characters obviously but uh hot keys all right so, um most of my stuff is really basic my nova skill i have that on z because z is pretty reactionary and it's out of the way to a point where i won't won't miss click um my rapid follow-up skill my combo skill is the kill day that's the key right next to one to the left of one to the left of one two and three basically it's, it's right above tab um i use this this rapid follow-up skill is your combo chain skill so i use that because i use one two and three so my hands are always in muscle memory of going to one two and three so it's really easy for me to just reach over and press the fill day key um to do follow up on chain so like i'll press q and then I'll, the rest of my combos are till day and if i need to go into a one my hand is already near the till day so i can go from q till day till day one till day till day three till day till day or q till day till day e uh till day till day into a three till day till day it's just really easy for me to chain combo that um with my left um so one two are the first hot keys and then i put q and e here the reason i don't go one two and three is because i want three separate from two because one and two are somewhat situational whereas q and e are like off cooldown and three is off cooldown c is off cooldown so like q e three c these are all like pretty much off cooldown whereas one and two are somewhat situation so i want my three separate from these that way i don't accidentally like forget to put it in my rotation so i always put my rotationary skills i try to anyway on qe 3 c in my situational or buffs on one and two um spear shooter is a bit situational right you can't really use it uh, spear shooter if you're super far away from the mob you have to be in the right correct position um so it's just a little bit more situational right um but that's my reasoning behind it. and then for my items I use C and Q and C and E as default, but my three and four bottom row is on my mouse button one and mouse button two, which, well, it's actually, actually four and five or something like that. These are mouse extension. Um, so I'm using those for potions, for quick potions. And then I use Q, uh, control Q and control E for like my jellies or my extra half force. But my, uh, I usually put I don't, on Jenna, I don't really need SG, but I would put full Soul Force here if I did. Um, like, if I was, like, I'm, if I was leveling him, I typically had a full Soul Force, but now that he's max, I can get by with half Soul Force. Um, but yeah, I'll typically put that on extension. Back mouse button, and then my front mouse button is my main. Um, and my Akashas are all, mostly always passive, so I haven't changed. Um, so yeah, that is story of my uh uh keys so let me go ahead and summon that so your main combination is going to be q right click into a glory upper um into a quadra blow and then perfect combination is pretty much all it's, it's almost always on cooldown. Um and then after uh, like after your perfect combination combo, so just a few basic combos, your main DPS combo is gonna be perfect combination. Um into a glory upper well you right click before glory upper into a, a quadra blow. And then you can go spear shooter, right click. Right click into a bear straight back into a perfect uh, right click perfect combination uh, into a glory upper and then you counter stream into a spirit explosion. Um, if you're trying to do super like super fast burst, 
right? Then you want to be rotating your uh, counter into spirit explosion. So like your main stream burst combo is going to be uh, perfect combination into a right click, into a glory upper, into a quadra blow, into a counter, right click, into a spirit explosion. Um, and then I usually like I will usually fusion armor have fusion armor up off cooldown but I can still activate my armor stream on you but I like to keep my counter attack and spirit explosion off cooldown as much as possible as well um and second I get in a battle I'm pretty much popping this buff unless there's a situation where I, I need to save that for a certain mechanic. Um, but another combo. It's a little hard for me to do this while recording because of latency. This combo is very, very, very latency and ping based. So I can perfect combination into the air, into a heavy, uh, heavy drop, into a drastic landing. Keep that in mind. You can combo perfect combination aerial into heavy drop and drastic landing. It's really good. And then you can also perfect combination into a spirit shooter. And uh, when you're in the air with spirit shooter, you can heavy drop into a drastic landing as well. But again, it's it's very, very, very ping based. Very ping based. I'm not going to be able to do that while recording. Too much too much latency so that's why i say jen is really s tier without good ping without good combination you just you can't do certain combos not gonna lie to you but the basic basic combos like i said it's gonna be perfect combination into a right click into a glory upper into a quadra blow into a taunt into your ult your 42 ult back into a perfect combination i want to keep my sg up counter into a cheap fury explosion, gravity twister, into a hammer kick, into a glory upper, into a quadra blow, spear explosion, right click, into a bear straight, back into a quadra blow, and you're rotating your quadra blow at this point, right click, um, into glory upper, back into the, my Q is almost, all, like my Q chain skill is almost always off cooldown. And that is how you know you've reset your combo. Once you've gotten back to your perfect combination, you've essentially reset your combo. So let's say I want to do a defensive uh, approach. I can perfect combination in always. I can cancel with my two, wait for it to attack counter stream. If they don't attack, activate counter stream with right click. Um, back into a perfect combination, right click into a glory upper, into a quadra blow, into a counter, into a spirit explosion, into a gravity twister, into a hammer kick. Um, and then after they're in the gravity twister, I can heavy landing into a drastic. That is the majority of Jin's combo. I mean, you can get very versatile with his combos, but that is the basics. Almost Keep in mind that, like I said, his Jin's main DPS skills: Final Fist, obviously, Bear Straight, obviously, Spirit Explode, Counter Explode, Counter Attack, and a Spirit Explosion. You want to be using those perfect off cooldown. Classic Landing is not bad for deep for damage, right? But it's more of a combo skill. Uh, Gravity Twister not bad for damage, more of a combo skill. Glory Upper is consistent damage. A project bow consistent damage, right? Your burst skills are bear straight, final fist, heavy drop, spear explosion. And if you don't master like these four skills and when you use them after counter, then you'll never do damage. So keep that in mind, you guys. Uh, if I left anything out, I'll try and add it to the comments. But that is my current guide for Jin. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next video. Peace. Love.